This woman is Miss Universe. Yes, that Miss Universe. She went from struggling financially, supporting her family in Manila at age 20, to winning the biggest beauty pageant in the world, fighting for LGBTQ rights and raising thousands of dollars for the poor at age 27. So how did she do it? Well, for the first time ever, I want to tell you the story of Catriona. This is Catriona Gray. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Catriona Gray, and I won Miss Universe in 2018. Catriona grew up as an only child, and because of her dad's job, she kept moving to different towns, making it very hard for her to make friends. So I had a relatively happy childhood. The thing is, with my dad's work, we moved around a lot. So before the age of eight, I think we moved around five or six times, and that was really difficult for me. I was always the new kid. Her parents wanted to give her the opportunities they didn't have, so they encouraged her to take different classes to try and find her passion. Karate, singing, music, dancing, anything that would help herself. So when my parents were younger, they themselves weren't given a lot of opportunity. So when they had me, they really explored every opportunity to give me the experiences to try different things. And so I grew a large love of different interests. But the more she grew up, the more lost she felt. At age 20, she became the breadwinner of her family and struggled to make ends meet. To make it worse, she kept comparing herself to people on social media who seemed to have it all figured out. So when I left home at 18, I started off as a model and I went into a bit of performing and hosting. It was a very unstable job. It was very project based and so financially it wasn't a very stable place to be. On top of that, I was away from my parents and just figuring out adult life in general. Catriona felt stuck and that's when she realized if she couldn't help herself, then maybe she could help others. So she decided to start volunteering. So after a period of being quite financially pressured and in a really tough spot, I had the idea to turn to volunteering, where I then realized just how much I had to be grateful for and that I was seeing everything in the wrong way. And that was it. Catriona had found her mission. She was going to help the poor and become their voice. So when her friend signed her up to a beauty pageant, she saw the potential of becoming a voice for the poor. My parents allowed me to join this pageant at the age of five, and it was really just for fun. There was nothing serious about it. But pageantry was never on my radar. And it was when I was volunteering that my eyes were opened to the platform of pageantry, and I became curious, what if I could combine the huge platform of pageantry with a cause that I really believed in? So she applied. She got to represent her country, and... She failed in front of the whole world. So in my journey to represent my country for the first time, I felt like I was where I was meant to be. I was really passionate about being a spokesperson, being a representative, all to be led to land in the top five. And it felt like a loss, not just because I failed to grab the title for my country, but also it meant that I wouldn't be able to support my parents as a breadwinner anymore. In fact, because I was such in a precarious financial situation, I didn't even really have a home to go home to. But Catriona had found herself. She had found her purpose, so she applied again. The thing that I realize, and I know that people are starting to realize, our beauty queens are more than just an image. We are there to represent something, and I saw the potential in that, and that's what I made my whole journey about. And in 2018, this time around, the new Miss Universe is... She won! Philippines! She became Miss Universe. She raised thousands of dollars for the youth of Tondo, Manila. She advocated for women's rights, for the LGBTQ community, for education all over the world. And today, she is launching her own academy. 
Hi, I'm Catriona Gray, Miss Universe 2018, and in this course, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can be a queen. Where she shares with the world everything she learned on how to be confident, how to find your voice, how to take risks, and how to be a queen, so she can teach people the real definition of being a queen. Because I believe with the right amount of confidence, Every single one of us has the power to take over the world. And here at Nas Daily, we are so excited to support her mission. Katriona's story teaches us that the way to find yourself in life is not by finding your passion, it's by finding your purpose. Because once you have it, everything else will fall into place.